Okay, back with Bella today. We're going to do the um, exact same thing that we did yesterday. I thought yesterday was fantastic. Um, I have. I just I just mentioned to Ben. I said, you know, her control is really coming around nicely. I'm, I've gone through. I've emailed a couple of people about this, just specifically talking about their dogs. And um, one of the things about Bella is she has been a bit of a roller coaster um, as far as focus. She's been a bit of a roller coaster as far as maturity. Probably more so than most dogs in recent memory. Um, she's gone up and down with it. Uh, just about the time I feel like I'm past her being a immature, um, and she starts to really grow up and grasp things and really accelerate in training, we just all of a sudden wheels fall off and she becomes really um, flighty and very puppy, um, just full of pup. And so, but then I just recognize it. It's probably a little frustrating because about the time you get some momentum going the right way, we've, we've hit this um, puppy stage again. And so I, I would say with her, it's been three or four times that I felt like, man, we're beyond um, that, that lack of focus. And then all of a sudden it comes back. She's on the high end right now. She's really climbing up. She's probably under the, I probably have some of the best control I've had over her um, yet for sure. And the most, so when she was real little and I've watched some of the videos, I had a lot of control over her when she was real little, but she was almost um, timid, not, not timid, but she was slower moving. Um, she wasn't as, as full blast. And so she was very controlled and, and it made it easy because she was a little slower then. I always have said about her, she's been extremely cautious whenever we do something new and then she becomes pretty bold with it immediately after. I think that's a sign of intelligence. So, um, what's really nice is when we're at 14, we're over 14 months now. She turned 14 months about a week ago. And one of the things that's real um, nice for me is the idea of now I feel like we're getting this boldness, this confidence. She's maturing physically. She's becoming a much stronger dog. She's filling out with her body. She's filling out with her mind. Um, and I, I don't know, maybe maybe we're going to hit another road bump here in the, in the near future. But um, I, I'm, I'm reminded of it when I see now I've got this puppy Cedar in, and I see a lot of that puppy in her, and I go, man, she's really beyond that, where it's hard to recognize that. She's still got a lot of puppy in her, don't get me wrong, because she's, she's, I see it with the other dogs especially. There's a, contra there's a real contrast between um, my older dogs and her. But she's coming along, and one of the things, one of the reasons is we have eliminated retrieving for almost three weeks now. And I have made a real effort of focusing on not allowing her to get spun up, excited, run off. And now all of a sudden, and to the point where I put her on the lead. A couple weeks ago, I put her on the lead constantly. Everywhere I went was on the lead. Now I'm doing that with this new puppy, Cedar. And now she comes off the lead, and boy, she's really, she's really doing well with it. So um, I want to start out by just touching on that because I'm seeing, I'm seeing some really good things. I told Ben, I said, I think within a week we might be retrieving. I don't want to jinx it, but maybe. Um, we're getting awful close. Things are sticking. Now, you see her right now, Bella. She's in heat. Um, this is another thing that is, this is her second heat cycle. Um, it just started. I noticed it Monday. Today is Tuesday. Today, Tuesday, Ben? So, so I noticed it yesterday, um, Sunday night. So she is in heat, and last time she was in heat, I do think it kind of distracted her a little bit. Um, I don't think it was real bad. I don't think it threw her off nose-wise. I sometimes see females have a little bit of a hard time with their noses. Um, I don't think I saw that, um, but we'll see what it is. This is just, just her second time um, coming into heat. So heel. we're gonna bring her over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set her up to just recall to, to the position uh, of where I want her. Sit. And you can just see, I have a real sense of comfort and control with her. Um, and I've had her off lead now for the last few days. And I feel like I have, and part of the reason is, is because we brought Cedar back, that little golden retriever, and I've had to have her on lead. And she's a ball of fire. And because of that, I'm not putting her on lead. And now she's off lead and she's really um, acting grown up, quite grown up. Very nice. Um, it's, a, it's a nice little change. So, Bella here. Come on. Good girl. I don't want to get her too slow. Come on. 
Good girl. I like the control, but I still like a little bit of athleticism. Good girl. Good girl. Heel. Sit. So that was very nice. It was a nice little come to the front, sit down. Didn't have to work on shuffling and cutting her off. Didn't have to work on her trying to get past me. Didn't have to work on her. Certainly didn't have to work on her coming in too fast. Uh, probably if anything I could have done better would have been get her a little speed out of her. So I am going to clap my hands. I'm going to make a little bit of noise because I don't want her necessarily breaking. This is my fear with this is now I create this dog that wants to anticipate the recall. Um, we're doing it a few times during this session. Outside of this, last night, for instance, this morning on an Instagram story, you'll see it. I put all our older dogs on remote sit for a long time, and I was at a long distance, her included. Um, I couldn't have done that not too long ago. I just didn't think she was capable of doing it with the older dogs. She's doing it right with the older dogs now. Um, I'm using her as a distraction, bringing that puppy past her. She gets tempted. The puppy gets real tempted. Um, we're working past that, but I've, I... So that's the counterbalance to call her off sit now, leave her on a remote sit more times um, and longer times than this in other sessions. Bella, here. Come on. Good girl. Right here. Right here. Sit. And there's that front. Very good. We didn't get that before. Not too long ago, she always wanted to go to the side. Come on. Sit. Good. We'll do it again. If I had my whistle, which I don't on purpose, because I don't want this to turn into handling, I don't want to turn this into a whistle, I need to allow myself to focus and concentrate. We're here to do heel. If I had my whistle, and I probably will start to build this in very soon, I'll do this exact same drill. I'll recall her to me, and she's so used to coming and sitting in front of me. When she gets about halfway, I'll stop her to the whistle once in a while. Keep her honest. Bella, here. Good. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Good. You can see she wants to slide off to the side, and we're just not going to let her, so I reminded her with a sit heel. Good. That's it. Hold. Hold. Good. Hold. Turn my back to her, which is just kind of a sign of trust. Don't. I didn't do that until I trust her 100%. Good girl. Good girl. You can see she thought I was going to call her right there. Good. Here. Very good. Come on. Come on. Sit. There it is. Uh, not that way. Come on. Come on. Sit. Good. Good. That'll take. Very good. See how she came right in between my legs? I think she likes it. I think she feels comfortable there. She came right in between my legs, spun around, and faced the other way. Ah, ah. Face the other way. I don't want that. So I took a step away, told her, come on, square up, face me. Good, come on, here, good girl, come on, come on, good dog, sit, good, right here, good, good, there it is, dead, very good, very good girl, very good girl, come on, heel, heel, come on, sit, a little bit warm out today, sunny, it's not bad, nice breeze, hold, Good, hold, very good. Hold has become so habitual to her, I only use it when I need to. And you'll see, if she doesn't do it well, and I tell her hold, it's almost automatic for her to come right to me and get in that sit position, because she remembers that is the finish to that command of hold. Good girl, here, come on. Good girl, sit, good. Right here, right here, right here, come on. No, 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 no. Good. Very good. Very good. Did. Very good. Sit. And I've... Sit. I've mentioned it to Ben. I told him yesterday, I said, I think we'll retrieve within a week. Sit up. I just feel like it's clicking. And, the, and we took... Ah, da, 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 da. Here, here, here. Good girl. Good dog. Sit. Good dog right here. Right here. Come on. See how much more controlled she is. Good. Good. Did. Growing up. Grow combination of timing of growing up. And I don't know that it's necessarily a coincidence, but it's combination of growing up 
and what we've done for the last couple of weeks, they're, they're meeting together, and now I'm getting some real nice results that I'm looking for. Hold, 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 very good, very good. Come on, come on, that a girl, come on, come on. Very happy, very good, sit, good, here, right here, right here, come on, come on, that's it, good dog, good dog, dead, good girl, heel, come on. Now, her heel work just got sloppy, come on. But she say, she's saying to me, this isn't a heel work drill, Dad. Come on. No, but you got to do that too. Come on. Sit. I'm going to switch dummies. Sit. Grab a little bit bigger dummy. I went away from the small one. She does a little bit better holding with the big one. Hold, hold, good, good, good. You notice she laid down and got comfortable before. I don't necessarily want that. It's a lot easier for her to spit it, but she didn't spit it. And that's what was the good part about it. I think hold is stronger for her. Strong enough, she doesn't want to drop that thing. Bella here, come on, good dog, good dog, sit. Very good. Here, right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right here. Right here. Sit. Good. Right here. Come on. Come on. There it is. There it is. Good dog. I don't want to form the habit of her spinning out and facing away yet. Dead. I do want that to get nicer. So, sit. That one was a little bit longer. I backed up about four or five yards further. This one's a little shorter. Here, come on, come on. Good girl. Sit, good dog. Right here, come on to me, there it is. Very good, very good. Hold, good, dead, good, good, come on, come on. Very good, come on, now. Let's see how consistent this holds through. Bella, good, hold, right here. Good dog, right here. Good, dead, good, 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 come here. Now you saw, just by throwing the dummy, making a retrieve, a, the excitement level went up, hold, hold. The excitement level went up, her delivery got sloppy. Just that easy, just that quick, right here. Come on, Bella, come on, Bella, come on, good. Come on, sit, good, dead. And she was almost flat. She was a little flat before we started this. Something got her attention out there. I don't know if it was a bird or what it was. Sit. Combination of that, the dummy being thrown, the retrieve being made, wasn't, wasn't anywhere near as nice as it was when we first started. Here, good. So let's go right back to it. Right here, come on, sit. Just that change has created that slopping. Right here, come on, come on. Right here, come on. No, you don't. Dead, come on. Sit, sit. So, we've gotten sloppy by, by going that far. So, and that's okay, I mean, I expect it. If she was gonna do it perfect, we would never do these things. We have to work towards it, get really good at something, then take another step probably be a little bit dirty, a little sloppy. Fix that, polish it up, clean it up. Take another step, take another step, take another step. Here, good. Come on, come on. But you can see, making those changes did create an issue. 
Good. And now we go back to the old thing. That is perfect. Good. Did. That was very nice. That was very nice. Heal. That's it. Let's do it back and be done. Hold. Hold. Don't get in the habit of mouthing that dummy, you. Again, way more talking than I would ever do with a dog. I wouldn't do any of this talking if it weren't for the camera. Come on. Good. Good. Right here. She's a little bit of a hard time on this end. Come on. There. Very good. Reaching out. Good. Good. Perfect position. Did. That's it. Be done. So, sit. If I had not, I'm going to do a rep. I mean, I, I'm done right there. I'm good. I'm going to do a rep, and I want to make a point of this because I never talk about this. And I think, I forget who it was. I think it was from our workshop. Uh, there was a couple here, Jeff and Sherry. And Sher I was talking to Sherry about communication with the dog. And I said, I talk a thousand times more on video and when you guys are here at a workshop than I ever would do a dog. And the other night I worked all my dogs and I made a point of like just paying attention to it. Didn't want to change anything, wanted to do it very naturally. And I don't know that I said more than, other than good, other than maybe a little bit, of, ah, ah, ah. I don't know that I made more, I don't know that I said more than five words in an hour to the, uh, out loud. I thought a lot of stuff in my head, but I didn't say it to the dogs. So she said, you know, maybe you should do that with the dogs on the video. And I said, yeah, but then people won't know what I'm, what I'm thinking and why I'm doing it. So I said, you know, we should make a point of doing it occasionally. So I'm going to show you what I would do. I'm just going to do the last two reps probably of a session with her. I want to end it very well. That's my goal. So if it, if it gets ugly, I might just keep going. I don't think it'll get that bad, but I want to do a couple more reps with her. And I'm going to do it the way I would if there was no camera. Hold. Good. Here. Good. Right here. Girl, come on. That's it. That's it. Sit. Good dog. Good dog. Dead. Good. That's it. I won't talk any more than that. It's probably more talking than I would do normally even. I wanted to, I had I felt like I had to keep her encouraged. I felt like she was, you know, a little bored with it. Um, I felt like I had to get her, get her energy. I said, good here, and she, her tail, she picked up her pace, her tail went a little faster. Again, all this talking would be non-existent if we didn't have a camera here. So, that's it for her right now. I'm very happy with that session. We threw it, we made our first retrieve. We actually, I would consider that making it a retrieve. It was a little sloppy, so we're gonna work to continue to polish up what came before it, but now we prepared that next stretch of road. And that's when we actually make a retrieve. It was very short, it was very simple, but it was the next step and it created a little bit of, of sloppiness at the end. We'll work towards, now we're gonna be doing that and cleaning that up. And then we'll extend that and clean that up and then we'll extend that. And pretty soon we'll be, I'll have the same confidence in that as I do now when I put a dummy in her mouth and walk away. If you back up five episodes, I bet, I wasn't confident enough to do this. Uh, I'm sure of it. So it's just a very, it's something that you do it and you do it, you do it, you do it, and then all of a sudden things start to click. I see light bulbs turning on in her 
uh, real clearly in the last the last week or so. And it's funny too because as she comes into heat, um, you know that can sometimes that sometimes can work the opposite way. You can get real flighty. You can get some that get real um, shut down very quickly. Don't want to do much. Don't want to. They just it just all depends on the dog's personality. Haven't seen it really affect her very negatively. Good. So now we're gonna put her up and we're gonna take out that little golden retriever puppy and work her a little bit. And I'm dead.